Good morning everybody and welcome to Built Not Bought Campus and it's a very wet and windy and cold morning. I'm just about to embark on a long, long journey and it's at least five hours away and I'm going to pick up a new project. So I know you would probably ask yourself, what is it? Well you'll just have to wait and see. Come along for the ride and have a look for yourself. <laughs> Andy, it's Carl picking up the traffic. We're about 15 minutes away from you, buddy. All right, we're heading over now. See you shortly. Bye, bye. Hi again, everybody. And well, we finally done the deal. A very social distance deal. Uh, transferred the money. Um, so stayed well away from each other, especially under the current conditions. No one wants to near this virus, do they? So, you're all wondering what we've got, aren't you? Well, it is... Renault Traffic Minibus. So, the good thing about this is, it's not got just one sliding door. It has two. Which is going to make this build very interesting. Uh, yucky, yucky, yucky. It's got those horrible seat rails, unwind rails. So, bad points about the vehicle. That's what you're wondering, aren't you? Right, so, the only bad points really is there's a little dent on the back of here. But we don't look at those as bad points. Character building. No, 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 we're not going to keep on with that one. Anyway, let's get back to the tour. So, it's got a lift up tailgate, nine seats, windows all round. I have noticed it's got speakers in the roof. All in all, it's not in a bad condition. The only thing is, it's got those horrible stickers what you've got to get off. Some very, very, very dirty front seats. But we have some interesting seats to go in this. But it's a six-speed box, diesel. And again, project number three. So there we have it. Not much of a tour, I know, but it's all I can give you from now from a car park where we just bought the vehicle. No, it's no shady deal, dodgy deal. Just want to make sure we kept it social distance. And safe for everybody involved. So. Uh, you come on the journey with me on the way back. Just to let you know where we are. We're in the Lake District. And um, to get here, I think I said at the beginning it was five hours. It's not, it's seven hours. So a seven hour journey to come pick a vehicle up. That's commitment or madness, you decide. So, what I wanna know from you lot is, what would you do to this van and how would you do this project? What sort of finishes would you go for? Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And we've got another interesting project to do. Oh yes.
heading back down south and I must say it drives really nice it's got a six-speed gearbox and I've noticed and tried it it's got air conditioning so all in all on the face of this vehicle it's not too bad for the price we paid before anybody asks no I'm not going to divulge that information again it was a very another cheap vehicle and um, I'll tell you something the Lake District is a beautiful place look at those views rolling hillsides absolutely amazing I can tell you something once we're off a of lockdown and we're allowed to travel and move freely again this is going to be one of my next destinations in the UK to travel to Everybody. so we're back in the workshop finally got the new project back inside and it's not very nice out there at all some people call this weather beautiful I call it damn cold let's go and have a quick look before I show you around the bus inside look at that just look at that weather it's not laying on the ground outside on the roads or anything like that but it is laying on grass and everywhere else even the top of the truck is loaded with snow so let's look at the new project so now I've had a chance to drive this all the way back from the Lake District uh, interesting drive on the way back I had a light come up on the dash and I lost power so that was a little bit worrying but apparently it's the math sensor and I've done a lot of research I've even spoken to our mechanic here on site and he's certain because he's got one of these vehicles himself so long wheelbase Renault traffic X minibus now so, and I've taken all the seats out inside, cleared it all out so we can have a proper look. And I've had a good look around it before coming on camera, so I can point out all the bad bits. But they're not bad bits, they're just bits that we need to sort out. I'm doing this inside because of the snow and it's so cold outside. Yeah, it's got colour coded bumpers and plastics all around. We have got to get rid of the stickers. We've got some amazing liquids to do that. I'll do a small one of my short videos on that. Um, as I said, this used to be an airport bus, so it's done all motorway mileage. There is 318,000 on the clock, but it had an engine replacement 90,000 miles ago. Um, these silly little things on here, they're coming off. And, the seats are pretty grotty, but they are being removed and we have some nice ones to put back in them. This bit here is part of the rear panel that goes above the light. I'll explain what happens to that in a little while. So there you go, that's the front. I'm going to replace the stereo and put a double din Android unit in there. I need to get a speaker cover for that, but them speakers will probably be replaced with something a little bit better quality. It just needs cleaning, look. It's just very, very dirty. But the whole bus will get a good detail. So 
So the bus has got two sliding doors on the side, one on each side. So that's going to make this a little more appealing to people because you can have both doors open in the summer. The layout's going to be a bit difficult. Probably people are saying, but I have an idea. Right. Once the seats are out and the new seats are in the front, we're only going to put two seats in the front, two single seats, which will make that quite good with swivel bases on. As you can see, all the seats are now being removed. The headlining does have speakers in it. It's a nice little feature, but I don't think it's going to be enough to keep the headline in this bus. So we may just replace that and panel the roof with some sort of either tongue and groove or something different. If somebody else has got anything different or any other suggestions, leave it in the comment below. And I'd like to see what people think of their ideas and what they would do with this bus. Uh, one of my very, very good friends, Darren, suggested having a kitchen at the rear because it's got a lift up tailgate. He said it's crying out for a rear, rear kitchen to use from inside and out. We're gonna be pulling all the panels off the walls to insulate, make sure they're fully insulated behind there. And obviously in the back, um, we're gonna put some insulation in there. I'm, I'm not convinced there's insulation in this bus at all, but we'll see and we will rectify it if it needs doing. Again, there's more of those horrible stickers on the side. They've been peeled off but left loads of residue. There is a little bit of a dink. You can't see it very well here. And scratches. But again, nothing major. Obviously you can see where it had the taxi plate on the airport buses, more sticker residue. Um, colour coded plastics at the back. And that was that corner panel that is sat in the front, which I said I would explain to you. And again, down this side is very, very straight. Another one of those silly things on the mirrors down there. But all round, for the price we paid for this, I'm very, very pleased. So this panel, just here. Quite an interesting story to that. On the way to picking up the new set of seats for the front, which was the same day we picked this up, so it's quite a full on day, there was a bit of a flood. And I was approaching this flood as another van was approaching it from the other side. Now I thought, I need to hit this first because I'm gonna be covered before he's covered. Anyway, he managed to hit the, this flood puddle at such a speed, a big wave of water hit the van and it hit it so hard, it felt like the windscreen was gonna come through. The driver's side mirror got pushed in with the force of the water and it knocked this off and it was hanging on by the window washer to the rear window. It was literally just hanging down. Um, I had already been told that on the way back it was moving a little bit, so I'm guessing it was already loose. It just needed a little bit of force to knock it off. So that's just another little repair we've got to do. Again, it's a 10 year old vehicle and with um, the lifetime it's had as a mini bus, there's gonna be a few bang scrapes, you know, it's done 300, the body, the whole bus has done 318,000 miles. So you've got to expect some wear and tear. Um, but the thing is, we get our mechanics to have a good look over it. We fix up, clean it up, give it a good detail, build inside, stick a roof vent in, solar on it. There's gonna be a hookup, probably a porta potty in here. We've just got to sort out what layout we want. Anyway, any ideas on our layout? I'd like to see what people think. I say, I've got my own ideas, um, but I love to see other people's ideas and take advice. Um, if somebody's got some quirky ideas, anything, let's say, leave it in the comments below. And I hope you're all staying safe on this very, very cold day. And I will see you in the next video. So have a good one and bye for now.